Indiana University coach Bobby Knight, here in the 1987 semifinals, led his Hoosiers to the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship that year. Bob Jordan, a FIDE caption toggle caption Bob Jordan, AP Indiana University coach Bobby Knight, here in the 1987 semifinals, led his Hoosiers to the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship that year. Bob Jordan, AP Basketball Hall of Famer Bobby Knight, whose unapologetic style earned legions of fans and critics alike, died Wednesday at his home in Bloomington, Indiana, according to a statement released by his family. He was 83, Knight was a legendary figure in college basketball. His record earned many admirers and nicknames. To his fans, he was called, The General. Knight was one of the United States' winningest college coaches, with more than 900 wins by the end of his career. He also had a reputation for being blunt and profane, with an explosive temper that often led to volatile behavior that marred his achievements. All that made for a complicated legacy. Sports writer John Feinstein, who profiled Knight and the Hoosiers in his book A Season on the Brink, spoke with NPR in 2008, after Knight had retired. When he was good, there was no one better than Bob Knight. He was generous, he cared about his players. He graduated his players, he was the best, said Feinstein. When he was bad, there were few worse. Yet Knight was loved by many of his former players and by plenty of fans, especially in basketball-loving Indiana, where he spent most of his coaching career. He was born Robert Montgomery Knight on October 25, 1940, in Massillon, Ohio, and he grew up in Orville, both small towns about 20 to 30 miles outside Akron. Knight played basketball in high school and college, he played for Ohio State University under eventual Hall of Fame coach Fred Taylor when the Buckeyes won the NCAA championship in 1960. Knight's own head coaching career began at West Point. At age 24, he was the youngest varsity coach in NCAA history. In 1971, Indiana University hired him, and he worked there for 29 years. Knight was noted for his discipline, hard-nosed approach and for teaching the team his motion offense, a game philosophy where players reacted to the defense, set screens and passed the ball until a teammate was open, instead of relying on set plays. He also emphasized academics, making sure his players studied and went to class. Nearly 80% of them graduated during Knight's time at Indiana almost double the national average for Division I schools. Indiana's current head coach, Mike Woodson, played for Knight in the 1970s. Woodson also played and coached in the NBA and says he wouldn't be where he is today without Knight. He taught me how to play the game of basketball from a fundamental standpoint, said Woodson. He taught me how to be a man on and off the floor, and that was huge for me coming out of the inner cities of Indianapolis. Knight coached Indiana to three NCAA championships, in 1976, 1981 and 1987.